Hello everybody, my name is Leo and if you follow my channel you know that I've recently done a video comparing the new X MG300 to the Fractal FM3 to a real Marshall JCM800. Actually there have been a lot of pretty constructive discussion in our community and so here I am with a similar video where the leading actors this time are Realvox AC30, the Valeton GP100 and still the Fractal FM3. I'm the first one actually to be curious about these uh, comparisons because actually I think that it is pretty interesting to compare the budget uh, amp modeling pedal board to the real amp to verify how close they are and also to the FM3 that is maybe the king of the amp modeling pedal boards well at least the most expensive one. First of all let's share the signal chain I have my Sur Classic Antique S that is going into an electroharmonics parallel mixer where are connected the Valeton GP100, the real amp and the FM3. The real amp is in the channel 1, the Valeton is in the channel 2 and the FM3 is in the channel 3. I've loaded the same IR in the Fractal, in the Valeton and in the real amp. The real amp is going to a sur reactive load. At the beginning of the video the settings of the amp modelings are gonna be exactly the same of the real Deal. And the tests we're gonna do are, first of all, we check out the frequency response at the gain level of the modelers against the real amp and we will try to match them. And then we will do the dynamic management test to verify how the amp modeler react to your touch in comparison with the real deal. And we will also check out how the envelope of the note is managed according to your pick. So let's start and please notice that I have not done any test before doing this video. So I'm making this test together with you live, I would say. So we have the real box. Valeton. FM3. Well, pretty different. Okay. So in my opinion here the main differences are that uh, the FM3 is uh, more gainy than the real deal and uh, both the FM3 and the GP100 have uh, less high frequencies. Let's start with the Valeton. I think I'm not able to get closer. Let's check out the FM3. Okay, now we're getting pretty close in my opinion. Wow. 
ale to... Wow, this is the best setting I was able to get. Let's try to check out the dynamic response. It is not easy to tell the differences and I'm sure that in a mix uh, I don't know if I would be able to recognize which is which. But uh, there is one thing in my opinion that I've noticed, that is the note separation. When the gain starts to rise, uh, according to the force you apply to your pick, uh, the real amp uh, maintain a really great note separation. In second place I would put the FM3 and then in the third place the Valeton where the different strings becomes a little bit more confused as the gain is rising. So here I noticed that the note separation is maybe the one thing that the real amp manage in a pretty outstanding way. The gain rises and you don't lose the focus on the single string. Band FM3 is managing the note separation pretty well, but not as well as the real amp, in my opinion. And then I will put the valeton in the last position. But uh, I have to say here that I'm really surprised on how good are these amp modeling pedal board compared to the real deal. Because I have noticed in my experience that Vox amp are really hard to match. And the differences here are really nuances. So what do you think? Is the real deal uh, better than the modeler? Are the modelers getting closer to the real deal? Is the FM3 worth the extra money? How close is the Valeton to the real deal? Please let me know in the comment below. I think that the discussion we have uh, with this video is really constructive. So we have now reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumbs up. It will be of a great time. See you in the next video. Bye bye.